it changed a couple things for me, you know, uh, going into the fight, I was 5-0, winning my uh, WEC debut, you know, and, uh, I was kind of getting the attitude that I was doing things right, I was doing um, good, you know, working out, whatever I was doing, and, uh, you know, that loss to him really corrected a lot of things for me, and, uh, you know, bring out my flaws, you know. On, my, on the ground, on my takedown defense, so, you know, I, I went back to the drawing boards and I, I just got better, you know, I came back and I realized what I did and I only got better from it, and um, yeah, I, I did get a lot of recognition off that fight, it was great, you know, um, I got to fight somebody, you know, I get to see Manny Gambirian on my record, I wish it was a win, but, you know, <laughs> it's a loss, but I learned a lot from it, it was good. It was good. I'm a reactionary fighter, um, you know, freestyle, like whatever, whatever happens, I just kind of react and, and uh, fly by the seat of my pants. Okay. Uh, the local venues are a great start, you know, they, uh, they take care of you, they build you up. Um, the WEC is just, you know, it's so legit, everything's, uh, everything is just so, like, professional, you know, like, Everything's on time, everything's, you know, and, and they really promote you and they really do treat you like a professional athlete, you know, so for, for that, you know, it makes you really feel really good and uh, it just, you know, just makes you feel like you're at that level okay. that you've worked for. You know, training's uh, tough, it's six, six to seven days a week, you know, and uh, you got a lot of guys in here hungry to get to, to the same spot as me, so they're, they're training every day with me, you know, they're trying to beat up on me as well as I'm trying to beat up on them, and, um, you know, we got a great trainer, you know, we get some different uh, guys in here all the time, so it's, it's, a good, it's a good atmosphere, you know. I spend between three and four hours a day. Um, you know, depending how I feel, if, if I'm hurting, you know, it's probably about two and a half, three hours. But if I can go the extra, I'll go five, you know, uh, I'll work out two to three times a day. Um, I, I actually just come in here at night. I don't even know what I'm doing the day, that day. It's more or less my training, you know. He'll just be like, all right, tonight we're doing uh, this. You know, and I just got to get ready and do it, you know. So it's more or less just I come in I, I find out what I'm doing. I, I train about half my camp with weights, you know, and um, yeah, mostly, mostly just a lot of cardio. And cause I'm already, I'm already big for 45, so making that 45 weight pound pass is tough, you know. So I, I just lift just enough to keep my strength and uh, you know my endurance and stuff. All the time, man. even if I don't got a fight coming up, I'm always asking myself, do I really need that piece of cake or do I need this? I should be eating this, you know. I don't need this, but um, yeah, man, it's it's huge. The diet is like a lot of it. Uh, I, I learned very young when I, I wrestled all through high school, college, and you know until now. And um, diet was huge. You know, if you don't have a good diet, your, your energy is terrible. You know, you, you gas quick, and so it's it's a big part of the big part of the experience. You have to have a good diet. Um, well, as soon as it gets legalized in New York, I'll be able to start fighting in front of my home crowd instead of these people just hearing about me fighting going, Hey man, tell me when your next fight's gonna be and where it's gonna be. If it's like in horse heads, I'll pop over. And it ain't even legal in New York State yet, you know? I'm, I'm fighting out on the West Coast most of the time, so it would be really cool uh, if it was legalized in New York because I would love to have the home, uh, hometown fans coming. My hometown is uh, Elmira Heights, so Elmira Heights has the USA Center has that, uh, in Elmira, so, and that, that hosts some pretty big hockey games, so I'm hoping, you know, maybe that'll be something I, I could play at the USA Center. I'm going to fight Pop like I fight everybody, you know, um, he's just a person, you know. He's not mad at him, he's not mad at me, we're just going out to compete, we're competitors, you know, we're warriors, and uh, he's a tough guy, he makes for a very, very uh, exciting fight, and I'm hoping I can, uh, I can help out with that, you know, I want to I be exciting too, so um, basically, you know, just go out and uh, fight like I train, I train hard, so this should be uh, right up my alley. 
You know, a lot of people ask that. You know, I got asked that in my last uh, uh, UFC fight, my, my uh, debut. Who do you want next? I don't ever think that far ahead, you know. I just say, whatever, you know. And everybody's tough in the weight class. They're signing new people every day, and everybody's tough. So, dream matchup. Just give me somebody that, you know, is, is willing to mix it up. That's all.